cyanide here. We're back on to the bubble nose uh, white fright liner. Today I'm just going to quickly knock out a, a dog house and dash to go in here. Well, I've got the freedom to get in and take the front off and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I'll just use this old uh, engine cover from a lawnmower. This will be pretty quick and dirty. I just want to get it done so we can get on to the cool stuff like putting the uh, grill into the front. Alright, let's get at it. This far with the um, the dash, that's not how it's going to stay. I need to cut it down a lot smaller than this, I think. But I want to stop and think about where I'm going to put electronics. And I'm thinking there'll be a speaker up here, and I'm going to put the servo here. So I have to sort out the servo first. I'm going to drill a hole in the floor pan, set up the linkage, and I'm going to cut away some of this tin here. Uh, I don't know, kinda. Same old story, making up as I go along, but because I don't have a um, a book to follow with the plans, I gotta stop and think about shit like this every now and again, so. Yeah, electrics. I think that's what's next. Righto guys, so I was heading down this track, I'd figured out how I was gonna mount the servo pretty much on the front and link it to the, the steering under here but then I realised if I put this here it's going to make it very difficult to weld the, the front on and weld the dash behind it um, it will be very hard to get to this so even though I think it will work as far as linkages is concerned I don't think it's going to be feasible to get it in and out so I got the manual out from the Tamiya kit and I'll put this back on which is the standard mount excuse me <coughs> so that'll put that there and link up to this wee thing here you know if that carry on you know how it works but if I pull that garbage in here in the standard place it interferes with the back of the cab uh, here I'd have to cut this out and I don't really want to do that either so 
the next plan is I've got some of these little servo mounts here, racing numbers, aluminium ones. What I'm going to attempt to do is this little bracket here that holds on, that would have held on the skirt on the um, Mercedes Benz. So this is still here. What I'm thinking is I'm going to drill a hole, take it off, flatten out this tab, and drill a hole there and there which will mount the servo mounts which will allow the servo to mount that way like that <coughs> roughly I mean I'm just going to take all this stuff off again put that in there and that will keep this where the servo horn rotates pretty close to where it is originally might be a wee bit out but it will still work with this if I have it this way then it will hide behind the back of the cab in there everybody's happy so I'm gonna give that a crack see if that works hopefully it works otherwise I might have to um, mount it on there and cut out the back of the cab which I really don't want to do right I'm gonna do this I won't film this part and I'll show you the results if it works or the results if it doesn't I made the bracket uh, for the servo so it's like that kind of deal but I'm not digging it because it's a bit um, a wee bit floppy there see that I could make a bracket like this or something like that but I can't be bothered I'm going to plan C which is um, bolt this side of the servo directly to the underside of the chassis and I've got this little piece of metal here that's sort of got holes drilled in it I'll make a bracket for the side yeah that should make it more solid all right I'll show you when I'm done right so plan C I think is the go. I'll get you around there. See in there I've um, drilled a couple of holes and just bolted one side of the servo directly to the chassis and that linkage will be pretty close just got to shorten it a bit and I've got this little piece of um, metal here that's already got holes drilled in it from something else I was doing once so I can uh, weld that onto this bracket or get a fresh one back here and so that's this is, um, steering sorted, which is good. And that tucks all in. Tucks in back there just fine. I just got to take a little bit off of this tab in here for a bit of clearance, but that's nothing. And that hides away good. Yeah, so. I'll crack on with this and yeah just get it done in the next video we'll we'll be back on to doing the sheet metal work. Uh, catch us later.